Welcome to the town of Sterlington, Louisiana. Today we are by the Angus Chemical Plant observing the Delta Southern switch in their small yard. Due to a bit of a traffic jam on 165, we missed the beginning of their switch operations, but we made it in time to see DSR 1555 get coupled to the rear of today's outbound. Delta Southern simply needed to move the old Jeep to a different track. After disconnecting the 1555, the small freight departed the chemical plant to pick up a single tank car in a storage track, and then they would head straight for their interchange in Monroe. After the crew finished building their train, the chase was on. DSR number 1585 would be on the point. Our first stop on the chase was one of the several bayous in the area. Number 1585 is an EMD GP9 that was built in May 1955. Originally built as a high hood for the Canadian Pacific, the old Jeep along with a few others managed to find its way to a short line in Louisiana. These old Canadian veterans would be replacing the old Delta Southern fleet of CF7s. Operations on the Delta Southern began in early 1989. It would serve a 103 mile section of track from Tallulah, Louisiana to McGahee, Arkansas. Though today, the track only reaches Lake Providence making the line 37 miles. In 1991, the DSR acquired the line that we are following. While originally a longer route that went into Arkansas, today the short branch is around 14 miles from Sterlington to Monroe and primarily serves the chemical plants in Sterlington. In 2015, the Delta Southern was purchased by Continental Rail. Shortly after passing the Sterlington High School, the track heads closer and eventually parallels Highway 165. This makes for very easy chasing. It is a huge help because without it, there would be a lot less spots to intercept the DSR on its 14 mile run. Here we see the 1585 clearing out of a tree tunnel and passing Washita Christian School.
Eventually, the track veers away from Highway 165, but after that, it runs right in the middle of the Bayou de Seard Country Club, where it will then cross over the bayou on a bridge. You'll notice that the crew suddenly threw the freight into emergency. On the other side of the bridge, a sizable tree branch fell on top of the rails. Luckily, a good Samaritan who lived in that neighborhood got his saw and assisted the crew in clearing the rail. After a minor setback, the old GP9 continued towards the Union Pacific Interchange. Here we see the Delta Southern slowly approach the switch to get on the Union Pacific Main Line and enter their yard. After a while of waiting, Union Pacific finally gave Delta Southern the clear to enter the yard and drop their load off.
In the Monroe Yard, we find the same group of SD-90s that have been in storage for months, along with the DSR GP9 looping around the yard. From here, it will receive its cargo from UP and head back to Sterlington. I hope that you have enjoyed this video on this interesting short line, and be sure to leave a like down below if you did. And until next time, thanks for watching.